This is horrific. We heard Melissa Bell saying that people are standing there on the street in horror. It is after 7 p.m., but this is the height of rush hour there in Paris. And as you were describing, Father, just the contents of the church, the organ, we heard from our Hadass Gold, just the beauty of everything inside and the significance, the historical significance of everything inside of this church. How concerned are you uh, about the safety of people who may have been inside? Well, I, again, I have not heard anything about how it even started or who is inside, but I mean, you, you mentioned the historical nature of it. The architecture of that cathedral is one of the first examples of the use of those flying buttresses. And, you know, the statues and the stained glass windows are just renowned. And so I, I just think for pilgrims and people of faith, the horror is, yes, to see a beautiful building being destroyed, but people have moments of faith people who've been married in there, people who have had funerals celebrated there. It's not just pilgrims. It actually is a thriving, living church community as well. And so I think the horror is added to because it has this otherworldly divine significance for people. And, you know, as recently as, I believe it was 1991, there was a restoration program, and that continued, and they continued cleaning it, and in, in 2014, the lighting was updated. So it's been a project over all of these centuries to keep the beauty of that cathedral and try to restore its beauty when it started to, in some way, fade. And yet, and yet now to see this is just unbelievable. All right, Father Beck, if you can stand by for me, I do want to reset what we are seeing here at the top of the hour. It is 8 p.m. in Paris, and it, uh, it's a beautiful, warm day in Paris, and you are looking at the Cathedral of Notre Dame aflame. And this is, at this point, the damage is catastrophic. There is yellow smoke and gray smoke, and in some parts, black smoke pouring from the ceiling of this cathedral as a fire engulfs it and continues to burn unabated. You have the fire department that is responding. There uh, are fire boats on the Seine, but at this point, any efforts, if they've been able to undertake them, certainly with the structural challenges of this iconic building, have been completely unaffected, uh, ineffective, I should say, as we are watching this fire burn. You can see, I want to bring in uh, Jim Bitterman. From where we're looking right now, we're getting an especially good view of the scaffolding that you were talking about. So the, the, the church has been under construction. And at this point, we don't know what the cause of this fire is, but this is, this is an outstanding question if this may have something to do with this catastrophe that we're seeing, Jim. Exactly. Yes, it was working going on, although I must say that over the last uh, 40 years that I've been in Paris, uh, there's been work going on at uh, Notre Dame practically every year as they try to keep up with the, uh, the ravages of age to keep the cathedral looking young. But this is going to set it back way back. Uh, as Father Beck was saying, this is a functioning church. In fact, my daughter was baptized in the Cathedral of Notre Dame because we lived in the neighborhood. Uh, back in the early days, and uh, it is just tragic to see this happening, especially right now during the high holiday season when, when so many events were going to be taking place. And like Father Beck also mentioned, uh, the Notre, Notre Dame was known for its wonderful, wonderful organ, which was just restored a few years ago. Uh, and uh, what remains of that uh, is, is something that we'll have to see after, after things get under control here. But they don't seem to be anywhere near that right now. In fact, uh, it seems to be burning out of control. Of course, it's a lot of old wooden beams and things like that. And just a few minutes ago, I'm not sure that our listeners were, were watching, but the spire uh, that sits at the center of uh, Notre Dame uh, collapsed and fell down symbolically, uh, spelling the end of the, the roof and, uh, and a real setback for the, for the cathedral. Brianna? So the, the, spire ha the spire has come down, that fell down, and that was, I mean, we could see the skeleton essentially of the spire falling down, and so now the consideration is also the inside and how that is going to perpetuate the damage inside of the building. It, this, is, this is an old building, Jim, this isn't, it's not the kind of building that you that can be retrofitted exactly adequately to modern standards and there are fireboats there on the river there are 
firefighters and fire trucks trying to make it to the scene, but these challenges are clearly too much to overcome for them. Well, exactly. I mean, it, it sits in a in a RV, as they call it. It's a, a wide open space all around the uh, cathedral. And uh, in one sense, you could probably get fire trucks fairly close. But getting to where this fire is, the fire appears to be in the center of the building. So getting there would require uh, a rather large, rather tall uh, extension arm of a fire truck to get up that high and to get anywhere near uh, the flames, and I suspect they're probably going at it from the inside as well, but uh, it's still just a very difficult place to get to, and, and I think that we can see that, the, that the, the, from the pictures that are coming out that this is uh, this is something that the, the firemen having access problems, just getting to the fire uh, and getting water onto the fire. So it's, 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 it's something that uh, looks like it's going to burn for some time here. All right, Jim, stand by for me. I'm going to bring you back in in just a moment. I do want to bring in Arash Derenbosch, who is there in Paris. His office is minutes away from the cathedral. You have been watching the smoke. Tell me what you are seeing. Yes, it's amazing. It's thin. Uh, everybody's crying. And, um, it's very sad because uh, Notre Dame de Paris is the symbol of Paris and the symbol of France. Uh, this church for us, for everybody, is a symbol of freedom, the symbol of fraternity, the symbol of uh, Victor Hugo, the literature of France. And why we're so sad because uh, nobody can do something. This is a, a, a very amazing thing that we are seeing everybody. And, and so as, as you watch, Arash, you said it seems that nothing can be done here. There, you, you hear the sirens, right? I mean, you're hearing the fire department respond, and yet they, they don't seem to be able at this point to intervene. Nobody sees something at first, but I think that everybody said that it is a problem of technique, a technical problem, that this is the origin of the fire. Maybe, I don't know. But uh, we are afraid because, you know, because of the attempt in France three years ago, we, we are so paranoid now, and um, we don't know, but uh, the immediate importance today, now, right now, is to stop this fire, because this is the symbol of France, and we have to do something immediately. And uh, the president of France, Macron, Emmanuel Macron, stopped his speech tonight, because this is a very most important um, situation for us, for the French people. That's right. The French president had an address, and he is delaying that in yeah. light of this, which just shows you how significant the damage to this Absolutely. national treasure uh, it is going to be. And so, Arash, is Paris stopped, essentially, just talking about this and watching this? You must be able to see this from all over the city. Everybody is afraid right now uh, because of this situation, because we don't know exactly what happened. Um, the first uh, security is coming. The fire persons are coming immediately to do the uh, the, the best uh, work. I am on the eye on the, everybody. Hope that uh, they will stop this fire because um, the uh, the lots of parts of the church uh, could be maybe uh, a brush, and uh, we are very sad to see that. Very, very sad, and uh, we are afraid, and we're frightened. Yes. What are you, and what are you afraid of? We're afraid because because the, this church is a very important church for us. This is the most important and the symbol of uh, the Church of France, and the security of this place could be very important. But it's amazing that uh, this church uh, could be in fire right like that. Because we are, everybody is, uh, it's a surprise for us. I'm sorry, I don't found my words because uh, we don't understand how it's possible that this church um, is coming to be in fire because of a sure. technical problem. It's, uh, it's impossible for us, impossible. It, and it is impossible as we watch along with you, Arash. Thank you so much uh, you for so speaking much. with us from Paris as you see this. Um, what you are seeing right now, this is the cathedral 
of Notre Dame. It is on fire. The, this is, these are pictures from moments ago. You'll see that spire there on the left side of your screen. That has fallen through the roof of the church. That is the side of the front facade that you're seeing on the right side of your church. It's uh, sort of a, a, a double, double towered, for lack of a better architectural word, facade that you can see from the front. And these flames have been coming really from the back roof of the Cathedral of Notre Dame, and they have been moving closer to the facade. We have a description from one of our reporters there on the scene of, of cinders on fire, small pieces of wood, flammable material actually coming down on people there. Her hair got singed as people started to uh, move away because this this started as, uh, well, the first pictures that we were seeing coming in, you could see smoke coming from the Cathedral of Notre Dame. Then there were visible flames, and then it just became fully engulfed through the roof. You can see there's scaffolding there. Uh, this is the area where the spire once stood. It has since crashed through the roof uh, of the Cathedral of Notre Dame, this iconic building, this icon of Gothic architecture, this very important uh, building and structure to Paris, to the Catholic Church. This is a church community. This is a historic building. And this is something of such national significance 